Hey y'all, welcome to Stiver's Homestead. <laughs> Today, we have the Kings. Yeah, they are. Oh. <laughs> Watch. Oh, and Ray Ray. And Ray Ray, with her cookie. She's eating a cookie. <laughs> so we met the Kings, uh, the Elk Creek Hens and Pens uh, is their Facebook page. We'll make sure to put it down in the description below. So we met them at the seed swap that we hosted a few weeks back. They're awesome people. Uh, they have came here and just showered us in gifts. So many different <laughs> things that we have. Um, look at this. <laughs> That's an ornament. And he wood laid it. And it's amazing. It was that, what kind of tree? That was from a burning bush. Burning bush tree. So, absolutely amazing stuff. Uh, but the biggest reason they came here was, uh, one animal we haven't really discussed much of us contemplating or getting is bees. And of course, that's a very popular uh, thing to have on people's homesteads. There's so much value in having them. And they have blessed us with a beehive. Mm -hmm. We'll go over there and show it in just a second, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, she painted it for us. It's got Stiver's homestead on it, and it is amazing. So, kind of took Jen into it. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's no, fine, I'm excited right? About it. I think it'll be really cool. I think it'll bring a lot. And yep. I think it'll be a good thing. And we love honey, so why not, yeah. right? It only makes sense. Yeah. Um, but did y'all want to introduce yourselves a little, tell them what you all are all about and everything? Well, I'm Perry King. Uh, I don't do as much gardening as my wife does. I do woodworking and just different things uh, to help with the homestead area. We do make soap at times. Um, salves. Just a little of this and a little of that. Yeah, Kim does most of the gardening. <laughs> she lets me know what she needs, usually. He, he makes wedding rings, and they are gorgeous. I do turn rings from time to time, oh, ornaments, yes. pins. Uh, enjoy being in the country. Anything you can think of, they're going to make it <laughs> or grow it or build it. One of the two. They're do awesome. our best, yeah. yeah. That's right, that's right, exactly right. Well, we thank you all for bringing these today. I mean, it was absolutely amazing. Very um, welcome. We'll go over here and get another shot. Y'all are probably gonna see them a lot because we're gonna get bees at some point, and so <laughs> I'm gonna need all the help I can get. And then just the friendships that we made. Um, absolutely. I can see us uh, getting along extremely well as we ha are already, and uh, continuing the relationship. So thank you all again. Very welcome, <laughs> glad to do it. So here is the bee have that the Kings we're so nice enough to give us, and how beautiful is that? She painted it for us and wrote Stiver's Homestead. Awesome. It's got plenty of bees, uh, it's already got all kinds of beeswax in it. He left it in there for uh, Jen so she can make different lotions and all kinds of stuff. So, soaps. She talking about frogs. Man, so awesome. I guess it's bee time. Okay, y'all talked me into keeping these trees, <laughs> that one and this one. However, we trimmed them up when we first moved here and had them real high and you can get under them nice, but just over the few years we've been here, they've grown out, so chainsaw time again. <laughs> and when it starts, no telling what all I'm gonna do, so y'all stand by and watch. Got a lot going on today. Start trees all there. A lot of work. Trimming trees up. Trimmed a few there. 
Zach's over here burning. Keeping the water on it. And look at that lettuce. Whoa. That is nice looking. There's Zach. There's half of Stiver's homestead. Oh yeah. Glad I got my mud boots on. That's a nice pile there. Nice size to burn. I thought you were lighting this whole thing up. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, so those two trees look so much better. You can walk under them now, it's awesome. But we got a ginormous bush pile. So I am burning. Water hose locked and ready. But they go up poof real fast and then they're gone. It doesn't take much to get these cedars out of here. Just gotta make sure it doesn't touch any other cedars, which it'll be fine. Um, Y'all saw me just cut two holes in the chicken coop. Um, summertime now, so they need a little ventilation. Here in a minute, we'll get that uh, chicken wire up. All right, we have done a lot today. I Ooh. feel like I've been absent on videos this weekend, but we had a lot of visitors and yeah. Zach was working, so I wanted to, you know, try to visit with everyone that came and spend time with people. So today we got a lot done. We sure Most, did. Mostly him, but. <laughs> <laughs> but like she said, we've had a lot of people in our house today and you know, we don't wanna be rude. Uh, we don't wanna stop so we can do videos. So uh, I kind of controlled the video while she visited yeah. and we had a plenty to do so that yep. required chainsaws and cutting and screwing and stuff so stuff that <laughs> was more my area anyways yeah so let's check out and see what everything we did here so we finally got our bears up i think it's a good little spot for them and then you know you got the raised bed the camping look and then the bears over the fire so i think that's really good and then i showed a video of Zach cutting down some of the limbs from the trees because we are keeping these now. Everybody requested that we keep the trees. So we're keeping the trees, but we trimmed them up again so that we can get under them and be able to mow the yard and stuff like that. And I think they look a lot better. They really do. They show so much more. Like yeah. I'm sure y'all probably can't tell on the video, but when we were over here, if you look back at some of the other videos, you couldn't see say where the gate is. It was uh, it was just covered with those limbs. Yeah. But now it just feels like it's so much more open now. The whole backyard is a whole lot brighter now, I think. So we've actually got a fire going over there trying to burn all those limbs and get rid of those. Which I showed y'all some of that too. Yeah. The problem with how I did it, I did like a dome. So it burned up all the pine needles, but there's no wood at the bottom. So it's just smoking, but it's all right. It'll let it dry out anyway, so it might sit there for a couple of days. Yeah. And then Zach mowed up around the pond with a push mower. And the pond is our favorite spot, but it's really hard to keep clean. So we're gonna work harder on that this year, keeping it clean so that we can get up there and walk around and see the prettiness of the pond. So that looks a whole lot better, I think. Okay, so I think that was it for this little area. We did one more thing, which you all saw a little snippet of it. So let's go over and check it out. It's been a good day. Had the had some visitors come over and give us all kinds of stuff, and we've been productive. And it's not been an overly hot day either, has it? It's been pretty comfortable. So we're gonna head in here. You'll hear Elsa because she thinks it's time for her bottle, but it is nowhere near time. Yeah, she was actually like she's starving to death. Elsa, where are you? <laughs> you gonna eat on me? Yep. So while Zach had the chainsaw out, we decided to vent the chicken coop. We were kind of waiting 
Um, so it wasn't too cold outside during the night. So we've now got two windows in the chicken coop so that the airflow can get through this summer and they weren't, they won't burn up and scorch to death. And we put chicken wire over them so predators can't get in, so. Yeah, and uh, they're small. So I really don't want to put any kind of spot to where a predator can get in. So I went really high. I mean, I'm six foot, so. Yeah. And the heat rises, so all that hot so air will be right able there. to escape. Right, that's a very good point. All the heat's gonna be up there, so that's where it's gonna get out. But I tried to go really high and make it small to where it's not blatantly out in the open, and there's one on the other side as well. Um, for now, I just put chicken wire on this side, but I am gonna go on the inside and put chicken wire on that side as well. Baby. Honestly, y'all, I've just we've just done a lot today, and I'm about ready to fire up the grill and call it quits. Yep. So. No. He's my baby. He's my baby. <laughs> she said, "Don't get that camera close to me." There you go. Honey, I know. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna fire up the grill and cook some dinner on the grill because it's so nice out. The sun finally decided to peek through, so mm -hmm. we're gonna enjoy the rest of the evening and we'll talk to y'all soon. All right, y'all. Mm. Until the next one. See ya. Bye.